Hey gang, a late night video tonight and I'm going to talk about how I got into Scream. This is Scream the horror film. So what else would I be talking about? I got into it, it was a night, it was back in 96 or 97 because the film came out in 96. This is uh right when the slasher genre got revised, revitalized through Scream, because pretty much slasher scene was pretty much dead after the 80s. And uh, my stepfather was actually at work, and he called my mom up, and he told us about this new horror film called Scream. It was going to be on, I can't remember what channel it was on, but I believe it was uh, one of the uh, direct TV or DISH uh, network or what what we had at the time. It had all the good stuff, you know, like all, all the kills and stuff inside there, you know, with the blood and, you know, and whatnot. So he told us it was coming on around like 7 tonight, and of course he had to work. And we, me and my mom, we sat there, we watched it, and that's how I got introduced, because I knew Nev Campbell uh, from Party of Five. David Arquette was, uh, I didn't know anything about him. I knew he had been related to Patricia Arquette, who was in uh, Nightmare on the Street 3 Dream Warriors. Uh, Courtney Cox, I, this is the first time I actually got introduced to her. However, you know, years later, I did, uh, I, I actually watched uh, Masters of the Universe, the 1987 uh, He-Man uh, live-action film with Dolph Lundgren. And I didn't realize Courtney Cox was in the film. She played uh, one of the main characters in that. So that was pretty cool. Uh, just, I mean, the way the movie was set, the setting of the movie, the tone of the movie, you know, of course it's, you know, it's Wes Craven, the guy that directed the original Nightmare on the Street and uh, whatnot. If somebody had to ask me, you know, what is, you know, your favorite Wes Craven film? Hands down, 100%, it's uh, Scream. I love the Scream franchise. Uh, there's uh, just a real, real big following uh of this new film that's coming out here on uh, March 31st of next year. Um, it's really going to be interesting just to see, you know, they did do shoots with uh, Gail Weathers, uh, they were doing them, and uh, the the blue suit and neon, high, neon green high heels was awesome. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, going back and getting introduced to Scream, it was for my stepdad. Uh, he told me and my mom about it one night and we watched it. It was on uh, one of the uh, movie channels and ever since then I've been uh, been a fan ever since. So that's just the uh, true story there. Uh, these other videos I'm going to be doing this weekend, I'm um, going to get some time in and do some videos here. Uh, I think tomorrow night I am going to talk about uh, my favorite motives, or the best, I mean the motives that really work in the screen franchise, because since we got five movies, we don't know what the motive is going to be for part six yet, uh, since it hasn't come out. But uh, I'm going to discuss which was uh, the best motives, which had the weakest motives for the, for the killers, you know. So be on the lookout for that one because I'm going to be doing uh, that one possibly maybe tomorrow. Uh, depending because, you know, I, you know, I get up at work at around 11.30. And right now I'm actually doing this video like it's a couple minutes before, a couple minutes after midnight already. So just be on the lookout for these videos. And, you know, the scream crave is real, guys. The scream mania is coming alive, you know, even though we don't got Never Campbell in the new one, but I'm still going to enjoy it because I'm a huge Gail Willers fan. I, I love Courtney Cox in that role. I, I think, you know, uh, my honest opinion, I think the original OGs, the, the three, David Arquette, uh, Never Campbell, Courtney Cox, I mean, each of their characters have evolved, they've been developed. But I mean, I'm going to go in depth with that too, with the development of the character, the character development for these films. 
uh, you didn't get really you know a lot of development in like Friday the 13th with the final girls and stuff because it was only a, it was like a one and done deal for each of them but you know the Jason Voorhees character gets you know uh, the character development even though he doesn't talk but yeah Anyways, uh, we'll be talking about stuff like that too with character development. And, uh, and that is it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're on the dawn of a weekend because my weekend will be starting tomorrow night at 11.30 when I get off. So get ready for these fun videos, man. It's a scream, baby.